In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to remove layers from a PDF file using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. This process is particularly useful when you want to simplify your document or prevent certain information from being visible when shared with others. Let's dive into the steps and see how it's done smoothly and efficiently. First, open your PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. You can do this by navigating to your file location and double clicking it. Once opened, you will be in a familiar viewing mode with various tools available. Your next task is to find the Layers panel, which is typically represented as a stacked layers icon on the right side of the screen. Clicking on this icon will open the Layers panel, giving you access to all the layers embedded within your PDF. However, if you don't see the Layers icon, don't worry, there's an easy way around this. At the top left of your screen, there's a hamburger menu. Go ahead and click on it. From the drop down that appears, click on View, then hover over Show, Hide. This will give you a sub menu where you can select side panels. Finally, you will see the option for Layers, enabling you to access the Layers panel if it was previously hidden. Now that you have the Layers panel open, you'll see a list of all layers included in your PDF document. Find and select the layer you wish to work with. Upon selection, notice there's an eye icon located to the left of each layer name. Clicking this icon will hide the layer from view within your document. This step doesn't remove the layer entirely, but it makes it invisible for the time being, which can be especially handy for previewing your document minus certain elements. Next, right click on the selected layer and choose Properties from the context menu. This action opens up a Properties dialog for that specific layer. Changing the settings here is crucial in ensuring the layer is not only hidden by default but also not alterable by anyone without permission. In the properties window, switch the default state to off. Additionally, you'll want to check the checkbox labelled locked. By doing this, you prevent any unwanted editing of that particular layer. Moreover, you'll want to ensure that the layer is set to never visible under the visibility settings. This setting ensures that regardless of the environment or software used to open the document, the layer will remain invisible. Finally, with all these adjustments made, click OK to apply the changes you've set. And there you have it. Your selected layer is effectively removed from being visible in your document, making it neat and ready to present or distribute as required. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more how-to tutorials just like this one.